Sheffield in northern Tasmania sits at the foot of Mount Rowland. It's an ordinary town. It has shops, a pub, a body works. It's a farming community, so there's plenty of business. An emporium and a railway station, although there is no train. Sheffield is known as Tasmania's outdoor art gallery. The surveyor, Nathaniel Kentish, came to the area in 1842 to plan a road route to the north of the state. Early settlers arrived to farm the land. This mural celebrates the town's Christian heritage. Thomas Jessop started his water-powered printing press in 1880. And the town began to change when gold was found in 1884, and the town got its first solicitor, Mr. C. F. Henry. And the town grew, as towns do. George Hope opened a bakery in 1905 and blacksmith Tom King was elected onto the first Kentish Council in 1908. Slater's Country Store opened in the 1920s and it's still on the corner. The post office mural is on the wall of the original post office which is now the museum. And here's an amusing piece about school life in the town. Every country town has its annual show. The Daffodil Show in Sheffield was held at the same time as the spring stock sales. A feature of the town today is the annual mural competition. Artists are invited to submit paintings which are displayed in the mural park. Selected by the community and by professional judges, each year one is selected to stay permanently in the town. Sheffield is on the edge of the Tasmanian wilderness. The naturalist Gustav Weindorfer, who did so much to develop the Cradle Mountain National Park, is celebrated in the first of the town's murals, which was painted in 1986. An Austrian who emigrated in 1900, he and his wife settled to farm near Cradle Mountain. They built the Waldheim Chalet. Here he lived alone after his wife died. He wrote that in winter he would build a big fire and quietly watch as the animals came to the warmth through the open doors. When senior constable Harry Clark retired in 1985, he was Tasmania's longest serving policeman in 1971, he had directed the first rescue using a helicopter. A group of students from Melbourne had got caught in a blizzard on the overland track from Cradle Mountain to Lake St. Clair. On the day after we left, a new mural was to be unveiled to remember the men from the town who were at Gallipoli. One of the school children had made a painting emblematic of the landing at Anzac Cove. It was to be part of the installation. Footprints in the sand, seaweed turning to barbed wire. It seems the future of the town and of its art is in safe hands.